Doug, thanks a lot to be proud of for the team. Now, despite that early exit from the tournament, still a lot to gain for you, Albany. The players might not call it a moral victory, but the university, well, they might be able to call it a monetary one. Craig Smith is joining us now live in the studio with more on that part of the story for us. Craig. Well, Dory, one of the best examples of tournament television exposure helping a school is the Gonzaga Bulldogs reaching the Elite Eight in 1999. Butler's two championship games since 2010 is another. You Albany's never remained in the thick of it that long, but fans and alumni agree even these last two games can do nothing but good for the university. They came for the excitement of a good ball game, knowing the Great Danes have already made a winner of the university. You've got, you've got millions of people around the world seeing Albany uh, on TBS, uh, on national TV, you know, battling it out with the top team in the country within a couple possessions at halftime. Uh, you know, like I said, it, it really doesn't get any better than something like this. It's so exciting. First round games versus UConn in 2006, Virginia in 2007, and Duke last year brought the same kind of attention, despite losses in those games. Tuesday's game against Mount St. Mary's was a bit of a showcase. Even though that there's a lot of discussion about the play-in game, whether that's good or bad, but that was the only game on that night. So uh, people around the country, if they wanted to watch any NCAA basketball, they were watching U Albany, so that's great. There's going to be exposure they wouldn't get otherwise. Whether it would help with recruiting, well, people say it does, so I would say Time will tell. It's great. I mean, this year I got really excited, especially about the women. But the men are doing very good. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is, this is, this is really good. So good that high school graduates might look this way. Michelle Mann has seen the effects in her work in the development office. I was meeting with a prospect uh, not too long ago, and he was talking about last year. He didn't know that one of his colleagues was also a U Albany alum, but because we were in the NCAA's last year, he was sporting his U Albany baseball hat into the office one day, and so they struck up a conversation, and then they got some U Albany pride going in the office and some game watches, and so that's what you like to see U Albany pride. One spokesperson for the university said he could think of it as millions of dollars worth of free advertising. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.